Welcome to a new The Week Ahead for Financial Markets video for this week, begin the 18th of November. It's Mike Smith, Head of Client Education and Training with Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in financial markets this week and the major things that the market is going to be keeping an eye on. So we have five market moving factors this week, which we think are important, and we're going to go through them step by step. The first is actually today, and the gentleman you see on the right is the BOJ governor, and he is giving a speech this morning, but it's going to be the press conference this afternoon, which is going to be of interest to markets. The Japanese raised their interest rates uh, to the surprise of everybody in July for the first time in decades, and there is talk of another rate rise potentially in December, and if not December, then likely to be in January. This will have a major impact on markets, and we'll be looking in the speech for anything that suggests the timing of this, and of course, whether it's going to happen. Most market analysts would suggest that the likelihood is high, and we're likely to get a massive response, not only in the Japanese yen, but also potentially impact of the carry trade. We may see some assets liquidated. Last time they raised rates, there was a major sell in US equities. So that's one to keep an eye on. Certainly any indication that it's likely to be in December may result in a significant market response. Let's look, quickly look at a chart of the USD yen. The yen has obviously been under significant pressure since September. You can see that rise in the USD, which has taken us up to a level not seen since June. Around July, when we had the drop in the USD, this was around the time of that BOJ rate hike. So the expectation is if they do announce anything, we may get a drop down. If they don't, or if there's a very dovish tone to what the BOJ governor has to say, we might even see further strength in the USD, push it up towards 158 in the short term. We are at the back end of US earnings season, which has been exceptionally good and supported stocks towards record highs with over 75% of companies beating expected EPS. But we have still one of the major players to report. That's NVIDIA on Wednesday. And this AI leader is likely to smash expectations. It has done on the last few earnings reports and the market is beginning to price in the same. That could be not only a market mover for this stock particularly, but also for the tech sector as a whole. And if we look at an NVIDIA price chart, you can see here that we are at record highs. This continued buying into this stock is likely to continue. We're looking back at the daily chart, you can see, although we had a pullback on Friday, there is a key level just below this psychologically important 150 level. This retracement that we saw on Friday is potentially a little bit of Friday profit taking, but generally on this stock, but you can see it remains in this upwards trend channel here. So a potential breach of 150 should this stock report numbers that beat earnings. Of course, forward guidance will be important as well. In an improving interest rate environment, once again, uh, we suggest that forward guidance might be interesting. So one to watch subsequent to their report on Wednesday. We also have a rate decision coming out of China on Wednesday. There's no expectation from Shanghai that there will be a change in rate, but markets are looking to see if there's any potential hint of a stimulus in the narrative that goes around that rate decision. The Chinese economy remains relatively soft and the prospect of Trump's tariffs uh, will increase pressure on economic growth in China. So some stimulus is likely, but it's just the timing of such which is questionable. Uh, maybe we'll get the hint on Wednesday, one to watch on Wednesday morning, our time. Uh, generally, we've seen a drop in commodity prices. That commodity price pressure has been significant with support levels tested across all of the major commodity groups. If we look at copper price, we are testing this key level here at around about 410. Should we breach this, there's another level below this that we hit at the beginning of August, which would be below this critical psychological $4 level. Uh, one to watch, obviously, copper has been under pressure, not just because of the Trump tariff promise, but also the economic slowdown in China being one of the biggest using copper and the pause 
in infrastructure projects of which again copper is a major component in such projects you can see the impact over the last couple of weeks we've actually releasing an article on the sliding commodity prices and what our outlook is going forward so that's worth a look at as well if you're interested in either the underlying commodities themselves or related stock and finally our number five of five we are looking to see if we get a test of the remarkable hundred thousand dollar level on bitcoin it's a psychologically important level of course we've seen a massive surge particularly since trump was re-elected being a supporter of cryptocurrencies and keen to remove some of the regulation around cryptos generally bitcoin has been an obvious beneficiary of that and if we look at a chart you can see this remarkable move up over the last three weeks we breached previous record highs at around about 73 and then since then have continued up a little pause last week it did get up as high intraday to around the 93 500 mark but should we see more buying coming into bitcoin then hundred dollars is certainly in the short term potentially on the cards there is a special session we're running at in a circle on wednesday looking at the outlook for bitcoin and of course if we do break a hundred thousand many analysts are predicting a potential move much higher so those are our five key market moving factors this week i hope that's been interesting and useful giving you some things to keep an eye on obviously there is general data coming out weekly jobs out of the us and pmi data also on thursday may also be of note along with cpi data out of europe midweek before we go just to remind you we do run daily live market update webinars and a chart of the day at 12 30 p.m every day the link for that is below we also have our inner circle trading education session 8 p.m every wednesday uh, which we'd be delighted to see you there for and of course as previously stated we'll be running a session on bitcoin outlook and remember of course we're always here for you go markets connect with us at any time if we can help you most importantly have a great week ahead we'll see you again soon bye bye for now trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now